After the project, I recently uploaded entitled Fascinated with Hell, in which I briefly explained that that video wasn't for everyone, only for those who are entertained by hellish experiences and seem to be very interested in who is in that place of torment. God, who is capable to do and reveal all things, has granted his servants to witness the eternal destructions of sinners by his grace, returning with an objective message, declaring repentance to the lost. Repentance doesn't necessarily mean confession. Repentance means to turn away from your sins and turning to God. In other words, changing your mind to do what is right. This dream was frightening to observe and also painful to tolerate. I believe God wanted me to see this particular torture to warn this generation and many to come concerning the penalty of repetitive sinning, especially those who are robbers, terrorizing victims with a weapon, aimlessly shooting for the sake of excitement, and murderers. Here is my dream. In my dream, I saw a wilted, deserted place. The ground was solid and brittle. This portion that I'm bearing witness to was absent of all life and water. Although it was dark, God was able to give light to this certain area. As I was lingering in this panoramic view, I was gravitated towards a man that was imprisoned in a pit. <sighs> to give specific details about this pit and even the appearance of this man. The man was about six feet, average of six feet, six, six foot one, six foot two, around there. And the pit had to be about maybe seven and a half, nine feet between there, nine feet deep. And in the inside, it, it, it is similar to what you see around me. And just like like the holes that you see, I'm gonna get into get into that a little bit uh, later. But he didn't have as much momentum because he was so close in, maybe about say 10 to 12 inches of space. So about maybe from like right here to like right here. So he really couldn't do much. I can't tell you if he was African American or an African. Only thing I know is that he had dark skin and he had black hair. That was it. Now, I wasn't allowed to receive specific details about this man. Only what the Spirit was willing to reveal to me. But overall, I believe God wanted me to observe the horrors that besieged an unrepentant person who enjoys terrorizing people with a gun. What I'm about to say deeply bothered me. As I'm drawing near to where this man is confined in, on each of the four sides that enclosed in on him, I could see the muzzle of a machine gun. I couldn't tell you what kind of weapon it was, but all that I knew was that the clips had extended unlimited bullets. The bullets never ran out. As I'm bearing witness to what this man is going through, it was truly heartbreaking. As I mentioned to you earlier about the muzzle that was coming out of the, like this, this area that he was in, like I said, he was closed in. It was like, it was four walls that he was enclosed in and like the muzzle was just coming out. So each hole that you see, again, it was four walls and it was just um, like a you know machine gun muzzle coming out. And the only thing I'm seeing is just uh, the lightning from the gunfire. Again, the place was dark, the pit was very dark and I'm just seeing the lightning from the gunfire and the bullets was just piercing through this man and it was endless. And I'm sitting there watching it just, just petrified just seeing his body violently shaken. It was something that is very inhumane. And you know, when people get shot, you know, a few times, but they just drop dead, this man couldn't drop. He, he couldn't even lay down if he wanted to because again, he didn't have much, he didn't have much momentum because the area was just so closed in on him and he was just simply getting just shot up. It, he was like an endless target. This is something God normally does that frightens me because normally we examine the different kinds of demonic abuse that's being placed upon the lost soul. God would allow me to trade places with the one being brutally afflicted just to endure the experience and how it would be and it was entirely overwhelming and unbearable. There was no place to sit. I couldn't take hold of the ledge above me and climb out of this pit. I felt every bullet that penetrated through my body. 
In this dark pit, the only lights I saw was the flashing lights that sparked from this machine gun and the constant oppressive voice that came from behind that fiery wall made it hard for me to pray my way out of this torturous pit. Deliverance was so urgent and no one came. The more I tried to pray, even in my mind, the sound of the gunfire increased. There was no hope for me at all. I knew I was lost forever. In hell, you receive a body of death. It is identical to the body that we have here on earth, but it's immortal, but not glorified. In heaven, those who make it, their bodies will be glorified. It will never die. It's the same for the bodies in hell. This mortal shell, this flesh that will soon be laid to rest will return to the ground from which it came from. But there is a body of death made specifically to endure the eternal punishments of our sins. Since we didn't accept Jesus in our hearts and served him because he paid it in full so no one will perish, but if you refuse his love and his teachings and his sacrifice, and when you reject his love, the only choice you have left is to pay for your own sins. This is one of many various torments that a robber, a person who enjoys terrorizing people with a weapon, one who aimlessly shoots for the sake of excitement and murderers, this is one of the many and various torturing methods waiting for people who decline the message of salvation, those who refuse the gift of eternal life, the ones who reject the invitation of receiving Jesus, and those who ignore the words of God. That place will be your eternal home where the fire is never put out and the worms will never die. The trouble, the pain, the sorrows you place on someone it will return to you at a proportion so compressed that you will wish you were never born. Finances, careers, the joys of life, liberty, prosperity, all will be contributed to you. For God will supply once you apply righteousness first and honest living. Acts of violence, threats, and terrorizing will form another pit in that deserted place. So why would you want to place yourself in hell? a place that was never created for you to begin with. All that you want and need is in the hands of a God who loves you, and he's willing to accept you, but you must turn from your ways. When you put the gun down and pick up something useful, pick up the Bible, you'll begin to see a change, and the change will begin in your mind, and the rest will follow. God has given you space to receive his grace, but mortal beings aren't eternal. If you pour out your frustration, your problems, your lifestyle, your confusion, your madness, your sins, all before God and ask Him to save your life and your soul and to have a relationship with Jesus, in return, He will change you. But be aware of the enemy because of His influential power. It will entice and lure you back into your old way of living. Therefore, reading the scriptures, maintaining a righteous and productive lifestyle will strengthen your mind, will, and emotions. When boredom strikes, one may have a desire to sink deep into the habitual violent behavior. Just remember, hell wasn't created for you, but your actions will bring you there. Heaven is your home, and Jesus is the only way. The more you get to know him, the more you will want to live for him. I had that dream about two weeks ago, and I find it troubling to even come on here and just speak from the heart. I couldn't. Just me writing it down, I was just terrorized, and tears filled my eyes. I couldn't even continue it. And so I just waited, and I tried to find areas throughout the city to publish this project. And it's been very troubling for me to do that. And now that I have the opportunity and the time, the space, the environmental silence that I needed, and it's crazy because throughout all these places, I realize that since I'm actually here in this area, it looks just like the pit that this guy was in. Hell is not meant for you. It never was. God wants you to live. But living a fast life, you will end your life fast.